Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to do lab 40 that is examining Kerberos settings. If you want to follow along on your machine, here are the instructions. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to be going into again server manager. So this one, you probably can't do it on, uh, on a workstation, even if it's connected to your uh, uh, um, SSO, like your uh, server environment. You have to do it in the server itself. From server manager, we're going to go to tools group policy. Group policy management. You, certi you certify live labs right here. Domain and you certify live labs. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna click the link group policy objects. Link group policy object like this. Uh, about three years ago when I started this channel I did that like how to link those how to create those policy and attach them so this is the other way how the policy is already there you're just going and to verify like you either you're doing the audit or something that you need to go and verify so So policies, Windows settings. <clears throat> Can we make it bigger? Security settings. policies and Kerberos so 600 minutes basically what what is saying is that once you log in to your SSO environment the server gives authenticates you as a user to not be asked for authentication again for 600 minutes that is 10 hours <clears throat> I believe you can change it because I want to say in yeah uh, can we for example 16 to it's 1200 plus 4 1540 minutes that becomes 24 hours 26 hours right so basically uh, most of the environment they don't ask you for 24 hours <clears throat> and I know for a fact I uh, uh, we don't get asked for we don't re-authenticate uh, if the user is logged in unless they disconnect and connect uh, to another from uh, like another source of internet it could be home cafe anywhere so we re-authenticate them <clears throat> all right so we did this part So this maximum lifetime for user tickets, that is for uh, like you logged in, server authenticated you, then you don't have internet. You lock your computer and now you can log into your computer because of this. So 
and the maximum lifetime is seven days basically uh, for example seven days you don't connect to the um, your corporate network that ticket that you have that allows you to log into that lap laptop uh, is good for seven days so after seven days yes you won't be able to log in you will have to go back connect your laptop or computer or whatever to your corporate network hope uh, either hardwired or uh, be present in that corporate building connect and then it will update itself so how does it do if you work from home it does through uh, you connect to the internet yep you go but how does these things happen uh, if you know Cisco connect like VPN Cisco connect is the most uh, I like wherever I've worked they use Cisco Cisco connect like hands down I have yet to see any other so basically uh, a VPN like a VPN connects once the VPN is connected then these things gets updated like these things the counter on these resets maximum tolerance for computer clock synchronization is five minutes this is uh, this is very important this is NTP network prime protocol so basically this allows how far the device uh, from the standard time can be in terms of ahead or back and it will tolerate it so we are set to tolerate five minutes so in my previous job we used to have devices where users will uh, like it was easy fix and nobody knew um, so like they will they will try their hardest to connect because in in their defense they were just thinking that NTP will automatically uh, crack the time but no uh, if the user would the chain like mess up the settings and then you have to first make sure wherever you are wherever in the corporate building you're trying to connect make sure that you manually set the time first and then it will allow it your device to connect and after it connects then yes NTP will take over if you uh, if you had disable it you can go ahead and enable it and most of the handle device yes you have to uh, disable it to s reset the time to whatever, wherever you are so <clears throat> enforce user login restrictions uh, again this is like uh, for s intranet sites or sites that ha they want you to authenticate before accessing it so for example <clears throat> some sites maybe that yeah you can uh, connect to the internet uh, from home and simply access them like as long as you're in your corporate environment uh, but for something sensitive for example you are you work for where you have to access uh, you, your customers information then yes it has to be like you they have to authenticate you first uh, normally a two-factor authentication and then you can access those sites all right so this is it uh, I'm gonna start prepping it up here i believe i have to make it 300 for to get the credits let's do that maximum lifetime apply okay yep all right i can submit now evaluate All right, so I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, see you in the next one.